point of contemporary dances. There can be no art form without the richness of the language and the grammar of it. Sanskrit is one such language so indigenous and rich and connected with art forms in India. To the genre of dance drama, Sanskrit has been such a boon and to explore its richness, form and content to its maximum beauty and creativity in truly challenging and equally inspiring. I, in this context, approached few contemporary dancers of this age who have done in-depth research and pr presentation on Sanskrit dance dramas. Professor C. V. Chandrasekhar, Dr. Ambika Kameshwar are the eminent dancers, choreographers and scholars who had presented a detailed research on the representation of Abhinaya in Sanskrit dance dramas whose viewpoints are which I am going to present today. There are also few other great dancers who have performed Sanskrit based dance production Bhagavad Gita by Dr. Padma Subramaniam a solo thematic presentation reached many souls. In this she explored the word Vishwarupam to its maximum depth. Dr. Sujata Mohan, a well-known scholar dancer, has staged Kumara Sambhavam and Basha's Balacharitam. To give a brief interconnect between the Abhinaya and Sanskrit drama, Abhinaya are fourfold, Angika, Vachika, Aharya and Sattvika, physical, verbal, ornamental and emotional and these are the modes of dramatic representation. The Sanskrit dance drama chosen by Professor C. V. Chandrasekhar for performance include Ramayana, Mega Sandesham and Aparajita. For the research, Basas Balacharitam, Kalidasas Abhignana Shakuntalam and Sri Harshas Ratnavali was chosen by Dr. Ambika Kameshwar. Each of the Abhinayas, their application, similarities and differences between the selected dancer dramas was compiled by them. This paper presentation would be exploring the various consideration taken by them through a personal interview on how they have handled the Abhinaya representation on the chosen dance drama, how influential the language of Sanskrit had been on dance drama, the difference in the usage of Abhinaya over the centuries and its relevance for current day audiences. My first question to the dancers were, with many language present, why Sanskrit is chosen for your dance dramas? Both Professor Chandrasekhar sir and Dr. Ambika Kameshwar explain the extreme love and passion for the Sanskrit language. Sir, being in the northern part of the country where Sanskrit probably was more understood than Tamil, for example, and the adaptability of the language was why he chose and Ambika Kameshwar, research was on Natya Bhinaya which could have never been done without exploring Sanskrit since that is the language with which Natya Shastra is written. When I posed a question, was there any difficulty in choosing such rich language, their answers were turning back to how good resources are available and how great scholars are always ready to help and guide it. Ambikaka had also shared how important is to have good English translation to make our effort more fruitful. I posed a question on how much each of the four Abhinayas was directed or used for presentation. Was it from the script? Sri Chandrasekhar sir says it depends on the theme. For example, Bhumija, the Ramayana story as a reactionary play through Sita without any male characters, text from Valmiki Ramayana, Ananda Ramayana and Prasanna Ragh Raghavam was more interpretive in nature, while Meghadutam, based on Kali Dasa's text, was dealt in more abstract manner by personifying the cloud. Dr. Ambika Kameshwar also shared a similar response how even a few minute details are already scripted by the script writer himself. I would like to fall back on Dr. Ambika Kameshwar's 
This is to present few scenes from the Bhasha's Balacharitam on how even the mudra details, stage presence are explained in the script itself. In her work, she explains how in the opening act of Balacharitam, the stage manager begins to address the audience after praising the Lord Narayana. He exits after announcing Narada's arrival. From this, as it answer, I understand that the narrator or the sutradhara has to exit when the character is entering. The description from text says Narada enters travelling in the sky, adopting aerial charis from the Samapada Sthana. He executes Churnapada exhibit Akashagati. The Gagana Sanchari pace leaves the stage by paying tribute to Narayana who has just been born to Devaki to kill Kamsa using the Kapota Hasta, touching the head and then exits. describe how Devaki then enters expressing anxiety for the life of the child she is carrying in her arms as Kamsa had already killed six of her sons. She expresses Chinta by downcast face, pondering, contemplating etc. Later, she expresses the Abhinaya of Vasudeva arrival through Devakis. Dialogue Vismaya Bhula Nayana. That means Devaki sees her husband with joy and wonder with eyes wide open. In the fourth act of the play, Dhamodara enters Yamuna in order to fight Kalinga. The dramatic description as researched by Dr. Ambika Kameshwar goes like this. Initially, Damodara is at shallow waters by pulling up his clothes a little and as water gets deeper and deeper, he moves towards Kalinga, stretching his arms with body bent forward, repeatedly pushing water aside using the Pataka and Sarpashirsha Hasta. This is how detailed Angika Bhinaya expressing through gestures and even the stage presence were detailed in Sanskrit literary works. With not much typical render in the dialogue form, but the verses were set to music in most of the Sanskrit dance drama presentation and hence the use of the Vachika Bhinaya as dialogues as such form text had been very minimal in this format of dramatic or theatrical representation. When asked about the response of audience, they both say that the audience response has been more or less the same as it is the job of choreographer to make the work speak the language visually, whichever language it may be. As we also understand from them that the dance is a communication by itself and it is the language by itself. Hence, Sanskrit or Tamil or any language chosen doesn't matter much unless until the Rasanubhava is preserved. Finally, I ask them an important question as a current generation dancer and teacher. If choosing Sanskrit, it is still relevant for current audiences and younger generation? Is it helpful in sustaining both the literature and art form? The great ripples were. 
the beauty and the strength of the language is immense it is not an archaic outdated language it depends on how you view a theme analyzing the research work of ambika akka i also found few instances in which their explicit references to cross cultural dances that have been done during ancient times for example halisa halisaka dance is dance that combines the folk dances of tamil nadu as kolattam kummi etc which have references in bhasha's balacharitam as damodara is born and later damodara himself performs a dance during kalinga nartanam with his arms moving like a flag as he dances he even plucks flowers which hang over the yamuna using abhinaya Basa also explained the Angika Binaya relevant here by describing that the Lord uses Katakamuka and Samdamsam as he dances and pluck flowers. I as a young dancer and choreographer wanted to understand how great literary works have been nurtured those centuries and how interconnected the dance and literature have been. I have understood through this research that Sanskrit as a language in itself has all the rasa indeed with aesthetics and divinity to together and just exploring and presenting it even without exhibiting properties costumes makeups technology or stage will sustain an audience mind forever and reach the souls Recently I have choreographed the extracts from Ritu Samharam by Kalidasa uh, it is only 1 minute i would like to show uh, and i thank you for the, uh, all the committees members of uh, kasr right for giving me a great opportunity to present thank you